Hi, my name is Tommy Zorbler. I want to walk through a demo of three of the features that Andy just talked about. First of all, I'd like to thank Edna from Winston-Salem for allowing us to use her Sandbox account for the demo today and for several others. Thank you very much. First two features, here comes the bus activity notifications and the time and attendance enhancements that we added to the tablet and incorporated into the Synovia mobile app work together. The third feature, vehicle inspection, is something that existed on the tablet for a long time, but is now accessible in the Synovia app as well. I'll start with here comes the bus activity notifications. We heard a lot of customers asking for here comes the bus type functionality for field trips, special needs, and contracted routes. Basically anything that was not managed in the routing system or anything that was difficult to maintain in the routing system. Our answer is to allow customers to enter a list of activities that their vehicles perform and let parents get the same type of notifications that they get from planned routes. There's no connection to the planning system, so the use cases are limitless. This is the new Here Comes the Bus activity screen. This is where transportation enters the list of activities that parents will be able to be notified about. Again, this is not limited to just traditional activity trips. As you can see here, Winston-Salem has set up food runs. They have 17 vehicles delivering food to roughly five locations each. Parents are able to receive a notification when a vehicle starts a food run and when the vehicle doing that food run approaches the location that the parent is going to meet them. Last thing I'll mention here on this screen is that the activities can have tags. These are just additional search terms that help the parent find the right activity to monitor. Remember Food Run 3 is tagged with Oak Grove Road and Martin Street. We'll use that later on. Now I've switched over to the Here Comes the Bus home screen. For my demo, I'm going to assume that the parent already has created an account and they've added their student. Most likely, they've been using Here Comes the Bus to track their student's planned route for a while. Clicking on the Students tab, I've added a sample student to my account. We call him Winston-Salem. Starting fresh, and in this case, Winston doesn't have any planned routing information. Winston receives breakfast and lunch from Child Nutrition while school is closed due to COVID-19. As a parent, I know that I'm close to Oak Grove School, so I want to get notifications when any vehicle starts a delivery of food to that location, and then again when any vehicle enters a zone surrounding that school. To add an activity that I want to monitor, I'm going to click the icon to the right of Winston and add activity. I want to search for an activity. I know it's a food run, so I'm just going to search on the food run. That brings back way too many choices. I have no idea which food run it is I'm really looking for. Let me try Oak Grove. That brings back just food run three. That's because of the tag we saw in the first screen where we set up activities. I'm going to choose food run three and I'm going to add the selected activity. It tells me it's been successfully added. I'm going to tap the icon to the right of food run, run three to add a notification. I want to know any time this activity starts, Monday through Friday, from 6 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. I only have one contact set up, that's my phone, but you can set up as many phones, as many email addresses as you like, and choose which ones are gonna get this particular notification. I'm gonna save that, and I'm done. But I also like to know when the bus arrives at Oak Grove School, not just when the activity starts. So I, I will add a second notification. This time, I'm gonna choose Inner Circle, Monday through Friday. I'm still gonna extend this out to uh, 9.30 at night, and I'm gonna say Next. Again, my phone's the only choice here, but if there were other contacts we could add them, I will say Next. And now, I have the option, I have to add a zone to monitor. I will search for Oak Grove School. Zoom in and make sure I have the right spot. There it is. I'm going to make that radius just a little bit bigger so I can just a little bit more notice between the time the bus enters the zone and arrives at the school. I'm going to say next. I'm going to name this zone because I can use this 
or other notifications. You only have to draw the zone around a certain location one time. Now, I've got two Food Run 3 notifications set up. As a parent, I just wait for something to happen. I mentioned several times that the parent will be notified when the Food Run 3 activity begins. How does that happen? That's where the new time and attendance functionality comes into play. All the new functionality exists on the tablet, but we've moved it all to the app as well, and that's what I'll be showing today. In the past, only Synovia Fleet HTML5 users could log into the app. Now, time and attendance employees can also log in. When I open the app as a Synovia TAA employee, I'm taken straight to the My Status page. As a driver, just like on the tablet, I choose the job that I'm clocking into. But unlike the tablet, the app doesn't know which vehicle I'm driving, so I'll select a vehicle. The most recent vehicles that I've driven are listed below. I always drive 258, so I'm going to choose that one again. And here's where the activities come into play. I've told the system that I'm driving bus 258. Now I'm going to tell it that I'm doing Food Run 3. Click Select an Activity. The most recent activities that I've done and the most recent activities that were done by 258 show up in the list. I can also search for an activity if I'm doing something different. In this case, I'm going to choose Food Run 3 and select. You see the notification that popped up at the top of the screen. As a parent, running here comes the bus. I just got notified that the driver started activity Food Run 3 on vehicle 258. Now as a driver, I click Done and I'm taken back to my status page. Here I have several options. I won't go into them. Most of it is standard time and attendance functionality. I can clock out, change jobs. I can start a new activity. You can do more than one at a time. And I can end the current activity. The bottom of the page, I see my work history for the day in case I need to verify what I did for the afternoon. Last thing I'll mention is that you can use locations that you set up in Synovia Fleet HTML5 to limit where an employee can clock in and out from. Mechanics can be limited to clocking in and out only when they're at a garage, but not from their home. Overall, moving time and attendance functionality out to an app opens it up to many more people than just drivers using the tablet.